Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sanitaire. I hope you are all well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down some cards for Sagittarius for their end of April reading. It's about time. Sorry. Apologize for the delay. Ugh. I've been fighting the weather. I've been fighting energies. I've been fighting not having time. It's just crazy insanity. But I'm here now, and we're going to get this done. So... But, before I start, I am so inclined to thank a very special man who has been a tremendous teacher and a wonderful human being. He's a beautiful soul indeed. Mr. Ramblin' Mike, thank you so much for everything. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. In the depths of my soul, thank you. You, sir, are a rock star. And I, I just can't thank you enough for everything. For the support and the wonderful words of encouragement. Again, thank you, sir. Okay. Sagittarius. Starting with for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey. And I mind. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, well, just throw it all, all together. Just don't even think about it. Don't give it a second thought. Put it out of your head. Or go check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings. You know, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to twist your arm. I'm not going to tell you how to live. That's not why I'm here. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. If you're a cross-watcher popping into the room, come on in. We're going to have a good time. We always have fun here. We try to. It's not always sunshine and roses. Life isn't always sunshine and roses, but we try to pull everything positive out of it that we can. Okay, two more shuffles for Sagittarius. We're going to get it going. I can get them to shovel back together. Shovel. Shuffle. Shuffle. <laughs> With an F. Not shovel with a V. If I can make words work right now. Okay. I bleached my hair earlier. Obviously, you guys know I'm not a natural blonde. You've seen previous videos from about a year ago. And I cut it, and it just doesn't feel right. I don't know. It's weird. It's driving me crazy. I got flyaways like mad right now. Okay. Why are you here, Sagittarius? The shadow side. That's the devil card. You might be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. Um. That's obsession. That's like a crazy, powerful connection, possibly sexual. That, that symbolizes a lot of things. It's dark. It's not necessarily bad, but it could potentially be dark. Well, let's dive in a little bit deeper here. Um, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Sagittarius, two of cups in the reverse. The connection is there, but it's not mutually felt or acknowledged. You feel like one of you feels it stronger than the other. Hard to say who at this point without clarity. What do you think of them? Knight of Swords. Mm. They're a smart, intelligent communicator. You may possibly think they're a little bit nosy. Like, they ask too many questions, possibly jump to too many conclusions. We'll get clarity in a minute. What do you want from them? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, boy. Mm. You want whatever this is to just stop for a second. This is like a grind to a halt card.
How do they feel about you? Four of Swords in the upright. They may feel like you need a little bit of a break. Like you're still coming out of like a Three of Swords mode. And you're in rest mode. You're in contemplation wing options mode. They feel that. What do they think of you? Death in the reverse. They think you're not ready for things to change. They could possibly think you're not as spiritually evolved. Could have something to do with that whole Four of Swords mode. What do they want from you? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh. They may want you to depend on them a little bit more and try to lean on them a little bit more. That's not a Sagittarian thing. It's really not. I, being one myself, can vouch for this, and knowing several, we're not leaners. We're, we're, we're independent to a fault. And that, that's, it's like our greatest strength and our greatest weakness. It really is. I can say that honestly about myself. It's something I've desperately tried to transcend, but 39 years into, ex into this existence, it's tough. It really is. It's tough. Um, what's the challenge here? Knight of Cups reversed. Somebody doesn't want to commit. The Knight of Cups in the upright is non-committal in and of itself as, as it stands alone. A Knight of Cups in the reverse, somebody definitely is not all about commitment. At all. What can be done? The Nine of Cups in reverse. Whoa. Somebody needs to figure out how to fill their own cup. Or fill their cups with the appropriate things. Someone may be overindulging a little bit. Getting into some toxic crap. Somebody needs to step away and disconnect from the toxic crap. Okay. Potential outcome. Six of Wands reversed. No victory. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna get some clarity. We're gonna we're gonna get some clarity for Sagittarius. Wasn't I just saying that it's not always sunshine and roses? I think I just said that. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards for Sagittarius, please? End of April 2020. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I need some clarity. I need to be able to make words work right now. You get back in there. Let's see, look what you are. The Knight of Wands decided to pop up. Speaking of non-committal energy, that's really weird. That's weird. We'll see if it comes back out. You know what? Can I get some clarity on the shadow side, please? Because I'd kind of like to know exactly why that popped up. Four of Cups.
cups in the reverse. Ignoring. Straight up ignoring blessings. Doing something, someone's being ignored. Toxic energy. Powerful connection. Connection not being acknowledged. Two of cups reversed again. Someone's being obsessive. Obsessive energy. Someone is being ignored and is not appreciating it. I don't know if it's you or the other person. But that's what that's all about. Considering how you feel about the other person showed up as the two of cups reversed. Sagittarius, I think it might be you. All right, well, page of wands, it was flipped out. I'm not sure when it flipped out. I'm just going to put it back and see if it comes back out. Why is the two of cups reversed here? Page of cups reversed. They're not acknowledging the connection. They're not sending the cute little messages back when you send them. Okay. It's not being reciprocated. <clears throat> or vice versa. Why is the Knight of Swords here? talk, don't you? I think you do. Three of Cups reversed. party situation. I don't have two threes here. Four of swords reversed. Three of cups reversed. They're restless. You think they're restless? They're nosy. Somebody in this scenario is peeking in on somebody's Instagram, peeking in on somebody's Facebook, something of that nature, talking to friends, trying to find out all they can. They're restless. It's not happy. It's not celebratory. Again, I don't know if it's you or them. I think it's you. Are you Facebook stalking somebody, Sagittarius? Are you trying to find out what's up? I think somebody's in the headspace of they're being ignored because the other person's focusing on somebody else. I don't know. Let's let's dive in a little bit deeper here. Why is the page of pentacles reversed here? This is, you know, I'm saying what's popping into my head right now. I'm reading the cards. I'm looking at the cards. I'm saying what's popping into my head. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Nine of Pentacles in the upright. He 
You want independence. You want things to slow down because you're good on your own, but you're all mad and upset because they're ignoring you. Shuts off like a switch, don't it? It's like a switch, isn't it? I'm not. No, yeah, I am. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out right now. I am you. Please don't forget that. I've been here before. I've been to this yard sale. I've bought these t-shirts and these coffee mugs and these bumper stickers. I have been to this gift shop on the road of life. Oh, I have. Totally know where you're at right now. Fine. You're going to ignore me. You're going to concentrate on the X. I'm fine by myself. Knight of Swords, but do you, you want the truth about what's going on, don't you? <laughs> you want to know the truth. You want to believe that they're being honest, but... Something's still fishy and you're restless about it. Okay. Why is the Four of Swords here? For how they feel about you. Five of Wands. You're coming out of some kind of crazy Three of Swords thing. You're in the Four of Swords place. It's chill time, thoughts, contemplation, but you're combative. You're argumentative. You're a little spitfire. One more. They're just like, if I say the wrong thing, this is going to start an argument. Magician. They want to manifest new things with you. They think you want to manifest newness. Throw another one on that. They also may think you're slightly manipulative, but it showed up in the upright. I don't know. I think that card can be read either way in, the, in this scenario. The Fool. New Things. Okay. Well, they feel like you're ready to get something started, but they're afraid to say the wrong thing to you. Pe Five of Pentacles reversed. They don't want to end up out in the cold. Okay, next card. Why is death reversed here? Eight of Pentacles. They think you're a hard worker. Trying to build that foundation. You put a lot of work into the things you do. Why is the death reversed here? Give me one more card. Ace of Pentacles. There's the potential for something new and abundant and stable here. Why is the death reversed here? Ever said how much I love it when the Sagittarian neighbors show up in a Sagittarian reading? Death and the devil.
tower reversed. Okay. They think you're ready to rebuild, but you're afraid of change. They think you, they want to rebuild something with you. They want to help you rebuild. They think that's what you want. You're trying to re... They think you're trying to rebuild something that you've lost. You're still coming out of the Three of Swords. Things are scattered. Things are crazy. They want to help you manifest, but they're so afraid to say the wrong thing to you because it's, you know... You ever seen those old witch movies where they're all standing around a cauldron? And somebody throws something into the cauldron and, you know, there's an explosion. That's what they're afraid of. <laughs> if I say the wrong thing to him or her, it or whatever, poof, argument. It's like they're walking on eggshells around you. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Sorry, why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed here? For what they want from Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune in the Upright Emperor first. They want you to admit that you are vulnerable. They want you to admit that you need somebody. They want to be part of your upward turn of events. They want to start the new cycle with you. That's what they want. But you got to get through the not wanting to commit. Sagittarius, you've been hurt before. That's obvious. And often when we've been hurt, it takes a very, very long time. And this is across the board. doesn't matter what zodiac sign you are. This is just a general all the way around the wheel thing. When we get hurt, once bitten, twice shy. It happens. And if you've been bit enough times, you just don't want to do it anymore. I can't blame you. I've been there. Again, I've been to that gift shop on the road of life, and I've bought every t-shirt in the damn place. I got them all in my closet. I get it. Why is the night cups reversed here for the challenge? Ten of cups reversed. one more on that. This is gonna be like the longest reading ever. Three of Wands. You say it and you say it and the words come out of your mouth over and over again until you're blue in the face. I'm not all about commitment. I'm scared of commitment. I don't want to commit. I'm good by myself. I'm not entitled to a happy ending. But yet you stand there and wait for the ship. One more. Eight of Swords. You're all wrapped up in a cage of your own thoughts of things that have happened before. 
funny thing about that cage. Yeah, the swords are stuck in the ground, but I'm pretty sure you can wiggle in between them. Your feet aren't bound. Your eyes are bound. And your hands are bound, but your feet are not bound. And you can get up anytime you want and walk the hell out of that circle of swords. Anytime you want. It's up to you. Don't be your own challenge. What? High Priestess in the reverse. What else fell? Seven of Swords in the reverse. Yep, somebody's being a little bit egocentric. And somebody's having a hard time telling the truth from the lies. Seven of Swords reversed. High Priestess reversed. You're ignoring your intuition. You're ignoring your intuition out of fear. Because you have been lied to so many times that you can't sort truth from lies. Because everybody's a liar when you've been hurt that many times. I get it. And you have a hard time trusting. I, I understand. But stop ignoring what the universe is trying to hand you. Stop ignoring the connection that the universe is trying to hand you because it may or may not be toxic. You're still bound to something else. Why is the Nine of Cups here for what needs to be done? Why is the Nine of Cups here for what needs to be done? One card. Can we do it with one card? One of these days I will get through a Sag reading only having to put one card on every card. One of these days. Ace of Wands reversed. Stop. You need to work on you. You need to fill your cups with positive things and not negative things. You need to learn to love yourself. The Ace of Wands is action being taken and jumping from one relationship to the next and throwing a band-aid on it. Don't throw a band-aid on it. Something tells me that this is more than a band-aid. <laughs> That's the beginning of something solid, something stable. This this represents someone who wants to build something with you. It's not like whatever this is over here that you're still attached to. Because this is making you fear this. Just because it didn't work out last time doesn't mean it's not going to work out this time. Unless you decide to let the Six of Wands in the reverse come to pass and not get your victory moment. Not get your moment in the sun. Because that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen if you don't learn to love yourself and let someone else love you. Yes, eventually you will get to a point where you can let someone else fill your cups. You have to fill your own cups first. You gotta love you, baby. You gotta love you. Because if you spend eternity, your existence, walking around with no self-worth, people aren't going to want you. You got to love yourself. Because self-confidence and self-love, it's sexy. It really is sexy. King of Wands in the reverse. No action taken, no moment in the sun. Five of Swords Reverse, never picking up the pieces. Well, hold on. 
just going to get your advice because this is killing my heart right now. I wouldn't wish this on any of the zodiac signs, let alone my fellow Saggies. Six of Swords in the reverse and the Ten of Wands. You need to release the burden. And you need to let whatever painful cycle brought you to this, whatever burdensome cycle, you need to just lay it down. You cannot control the actions of others. You can control the actions of other people that broke your heart. All you control is how you reacted to it. You gotta lay the burden down. Six of Swords in the reverse. It's a card of return. Throw another one on that. Queen of Swords in the reverse and the High Priest in the reverse. If it doesn't work out, if it isn't the blessed union you thought it was going to be, don't get a crappy attitude about it. You have to maintain a positive attitude. Oh, it didn't work out? Well, you know what? That wasn't my fish. Throw it back. And you know what? Sometimes those fish you threw back come back onto your hook. And when they come back onto your hook, they're a different fish. It's a beautiful thing. Four of Wands in the upright, Two of Pentacles in the reverse, Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. This has the potential to be something wonderful and something beautiful and something abundant, but it's got to come slow. So we were talking about a little bit earlier, before you fell asleep, wake up, <laughs> before you fell asleep, we were talking about someone's really not paying attention. You, someone was getting a little bit upset over it. And somebody says, well, damn it. I don't know what's going on, but I'm good on my own if nobody's going to pay attention to me. This has this potential to be something beautiful and something abundant. This could very well be a soul flame to soul ugh, soulmate to inflame connection. But it's gotta happen slow. Because the best things in life all too often came in slowly. You gotta work out your stuff. You gotta work through your emotions. You gotta end cycles that you're still hanging on to. And this gives you the luxury of time to do that. Just let it happen. Let's just let it happen. Let it happen naturally. Sag, I know we struggle with this because we want what we want. We want it now. You can't always have it right now. You gotta wait. Put the brakes on. Pull off to the side of the road. Enjoy the sunset. It's gonna be fine. All right. I have four of the readings to do tonight close this out by midnight so I'm gonna stop babbling at you guys stop yelling and speaking my truth stop being big mama sad for the night get the other three readings done babies know that I love you be blessed it's gonna be okay for whoever this resonated with if you haven't already like share and subscribe if you feel so compelled I'm not gonna twist anybody's arm it's okay if you don't. I'm a lot to take in. Uh, I'm a great big huge personality sometimes. Especially when I'm speaking to my people. <sighs> Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified the next time I upload. And I will catch you guys in about a week and a half for your first part of May reading. So, have a good night. Have a good week. And I'll catch you next time. Love you to bits. <laughs>